Hi, and welcome back to the North America Zoo. So, this episode has been a little bit of a strange one, because at this point, 0% of the original episode exists. It's been, it's been a long track, but basically, uh, this is Future Jackal, and uh, Past Jackal will greet you at the end of the episode, because time doesn't exist in recording, so <laughs> it's been, it's been a wild ride. Yeah, uh, we, we tried to get everything sent off to my editor, and then uh, the intro to this got corrupted. So anyway, I'm here to talk to you in this over in this uh, voiceover now. So anyway, um, let's talk about this actual episode because today, again, is gonna be a little bit strange. Um, last episode, we got basically all of the framing done for the entrance to the zoo. Like not just that entrance building, but then when you walk down into the zoo and you're you're greeted by your first set of animals and you know got some of the shops in, we got a restaurant in. So you know. A lot of that, it looks really good, it's it's a lot of man-made structures from last episode that really, like, set the tone and the framing. But at this point, now what we really need is nature, because it looks plain and boring and empty, and the best way to take a grass plain and make it look natural is to throw down some, like, trees and bushes and stuff. So that's gonna be the primary focus of this episode, but what you, you probably see me doing right now is putting in these foundations for all the stairs and the walkways that we did. Um, I don't normally do this, but, you know, for this particular style of zoo, it felt na it felt necessary, you know? Like, we could have put stilts, you know, I could have put just the, the standard Planet Zoo, you know, s pathing supports underneath it, but I really didn't feel like that was appropriate for this particular kind of area, so. We're getting in these, uh, these stone foundations. Um, it took forever, but, you know, the end looks really worth it. It looks like, you know, we actually fit this to the terrain, which is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So, um, after that, we are gonna go ahead and do, um, you know, trees, bushes, shrubs, all the framing. And, uh, since this island already has a pretty cut and clear palette, you know, we've got all of these trees that I can sample. Um, so we are going to be taking those. And I'm just gonna select whichever ones I think look right for here. Um, mostly ends up being a lot of ponderosas, um, a lot of Douglas fir, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and infill where that feels correct to do so. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go underneath and put in some like arrowroot, uh, some bracken, you know, get all of our get all of our under foliage done. And then after that, we're gonna do a little bit of gardening. Um, but you'll see that when we get there. So. With that said, I hope you all enjoy, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy some landscaping, and past me, we'll see you in a few minutes.
we're back. So, uh, that actually took a little bit less time than I expected to. Um, but thankfully, or, or not so thankfully, I actually did this before. Um, there is uh, originally going to be a different version of this. <laughs> it, it's basically the same, but for whatever reason when I logged out of the game, it didn't save, so I ended up having to redo all of the foliage. So if you're curious, like, you know, why I might skip over things or forget to mention them, just pop me a comment and I'll clarify. So the big plan right now with the foliage is we are going to continue with the look of the island because it's, I mean, it's so pretty, you know? Um, we're going to have this sort of like swath the forest through here. We might bring it back down through here. Um, and then this is going to be sort of grassy. We're going to focus on this area, sort of bringing in that rocky plains uh, kind of look. We're not going to be able to extend grass out here, obviously, but, you know, we can make it flow. We can make it look natural. So we did this rocky outcropping here. Um, this is going to be... I was doing the measurements for this uh, a little while ago, and it's big enough that it could almost be like an elephant yard or like a rhino yard or something, which doesn't really square with our plans for a North America style zoo. But, you know, we might open that up, we might bring in different animals, especially since this is probably going to have to be bent to rocks. Um, we've got all of this framed. My main goal through here was that you would sort of walk through it as if you were in a, uh, like a, like a natural forest or a wildlife refuge or something. So we would have this area be, you know, kind of partitioned off, kind of give the, the bison and the antelope some, some privacy. And on top of that, you know, it, it forces the guests to actually come up to the viewing area because they can't, you know, they can't see anything through here, you know. Um, we also carried through the bracken. Oh right, this, okay, so this stairway, you know, it works if you just walk up it normally. It does not work if you shift run, so that's, that's something I'm gonna have to be mindful of. But yeah, so you still get this really nice view, you get the forests up through here, you know, the trees and all that. And then you come back around over here and it opens up into this nice grassland with, you know, rocks and cliffs, and we're probably gonna do a lot more framing through here, you know, just to make it look nice and crisp. Oh, doo -doo -doo. we've got our power source over here. It is at 100%. We don't need to do anything with it. And as far as I know, it should have no, yeah, no negative impact on guests. So we're doing good there. Next episode, I think we will do some lighting uh, just to make this, you know, easier to walk through at night. So most of that episode is going to be in the dark. We're probably going to have a lot of flashing. So just, you know, Fair warning now, in case you have any kind of visual sensitivity that, you know, might be set off by that kind of thing. I'll try and keep it as minimal as possible because I'm also light sensitive. So yeah, um, I think it looks pretty good. Alrighty, well I'm gonna go get started on the next episode and I will see you all then.